Should be a good spot to rest. Oh, it's you. My, I never expected this island would have a repeat visitor. Now, now, there will be time enough for questions. Go ahead, take a seat. I can't offer much, but how would you like some fresh goat's milk porridge? You forgot you'd ever come here upon returning to the real world, didn't you? Though this island does truly exist, you'll not find it on any earthly map. A dream? A dream? I suppose that's one way of looking at it, yes? Others have unconsciously paid this island a visit just as you have. However, you are the first to be aware of your doing so. When I speak with you, I feel as though I can begin to remember... to remember... my purpose. Yes. As I mentioned last time, I've forgotten just about everything. My own name, what it is I'm waiting here for. But even so, I'm certain that fragments of my life lie scattered across this island. Whenever you find yourself here, could I trouble you to help me search for them? Oh, is that right? Well, I'm glad to have an expert on the case. That said, it seems your time on this island is limited. If you happen to find anything, please, let me know. For the moment, though, my work in the fields is catching up with me. I fear that a brief nap is in order. Something's there. How's 
An underground room with locked chests, you say? Hmm. Now that you mention it, I do vaguely remember a place like that. Oh, but I can't recall for the life of me what I put in those chests, or where I left the keys to them. Oh, ho. Hmm. I had a feeling chatting with you would get my old memories stirring. Ah, seems our time is up for now. 
at all. I do hope to see you again. going on? Is your friend human, or a Grieger, or what? Hmm. Huh. So you don't remember fighting us at all? Last thing I clearly remember is the night Karnak was attacked. Right up till I encountered them. I was at the Rusveri Inn when the attack went down. As soon as I noticed, I rushed outside. I went to look for Adel, only to run into that Yurth lady instead. Kicked the crap out of her underlings, but they just kept coming back for more. Eventually, I got worn down and jumped by a whole pack of them at once. You shall make for a fine puppet. Damn you! Oh yes, you're far stronger than any of those pathetic townsfolk I turned. Evie, that shall be your new name. You should feel honored. W wait a minute. If what Yurth said is true... Yeah. She turned all the citizens of Karnak into Grieger too. And there's a good chance they've all been put to work in their army, just like I was. Huh. That'd explain why we couldn't find a trace of the townsfolk. The power to turn people into Grieger? Yeah, but you were able to turn me back with your own weird power. So you should be able to turn all the townsfolk back too, yeah? Right. That power. When you used it, I could feel the mana through our cuffs. Since when were you able to even do something like that? Well, whatever it was that happened, you saved me. It felt like having a light suddenly pop up ahead after wandering through the dark for ages. I just hope we manage to find Dr. Flair and the others, too. My oh my! What a surprise this is! Sure enough, humans are utterly fascinating. Yes, fascinating indeed. Grieger! Would that Yurth tried a little harder to make nice with you. My name is Logger Valkios, and as you've noted, I am a Grieger. Allow me to offer my thanks for that most entertaining spectacle you showed me. Entertaining? You screwing with us? After hearing that Evie had absconded, I gave pursuit out of mild curiosity. It really is quite a feat that you were able to resist Yurth's spell, even if inadvertently. The humans who are capable of that are few and far between, you know. Gee, thanks. But when I got here, oh, did that red-headed mono-wielder steal the show. I couldn't have dreamed that he'd managed to turn our converted Grieger back into humans.
Me? Oh no, I am a purebred Grieger. In fact, most Grieger are like me, I'll have you know. That power that fixed Doki doesn't look too hard to get a handle on. So how's about I use it to see if you're telling the truth? Oh my, how very frightening. But, unlike Yurth, I don't think so little of humans that I'll risk a fight I may lose. As such, I've no intention of indulging you here and now. What? Consider that stone monument over there. You see, I simply adore the stories spun by the threads of human lives. And now, I find myself deeply invested in the saga that you, Adol and Karja, will weave. To kill you right at its beginning would only deprive me of valuable reading material. Wow, aren't you full of yourself? That's probably part of it, but also, I think he's actually serious. Ah, as proof of my friendly intent, how about I share some information with you? The reason Yurth attacked Karnak was to search for someone who makes for a suitable vessel. Vessel? Alas, no. And so, Yurth went and transformed every denizen unfit for the role into a Grieger. They've since been added to our flotillas to aid in our search for said vessel. And we'll be deploying those flotillas to every corner of Obelia Gulf. Wh what The whole Gulf?! Quite so. If you intend to rescue the townsfolk, you're obligated to chase us down. Ooh... Truly a line worthy of a hero. The greater the difficulties you face, the richer your story will be. Please do your best to add in some twists and turns I won't be expecting. And with that, I take my leave. Until we meet again. Hold it, you! He disappeared? Guess Yurth isn't the only pain in the ass we'll have to deal with. Either way, we definitely gotta let the Balta Sea Force know about this. We should head back to your island ASAP, yeah? Good point. We're pretty much done with the right anyway. Adol, let's head back to the Sandras for now and report to Felia. Alright then. That proves you saw everything the Runestone had to tell. I did hear from the Jarl that they could trigger visions of what they're about, but wow, you two actually experienced it. Yeah. In any event, good job you two. It was a little unorthodox, but with this, you've completed the right without incident. No, there were plenty of incidents. Philia, was it? I'm sure this right or whatever is important, but uh... Shouldn't we hurry up and head back already? We need to report everything that happened. True. We've got a lot to mull over now. The situation's even more dire than we realized. Sorry there's no time for you to rest, but let's shake a leg and depart. All right. I'll help out too. And so, we welcome our new brother to our ranks. Addo the Red, step forward. Addo the Red, huh? That nickname's pretty on the nose. Well, if that's the style we're going for these days, then I guess you'd be Horik the Unfaithful. C come on now, Granny. Oh, there's a straightforward nickname. 
I'm sure even I'll be able to remember that one. At any rate, the real work starts here, at All the Red. Aye, since the ride is over, you're one of our fellow brethren now. Give it your all! Right then, that takes care of that. Today's main topic is the info at All the Red brought back for us. Hey, hold on! The deal was that if Karnax attacked, the Balta Sea Force is supposed to protect it! And what world is rescuing the people who live there not a part of that? And just how are we supposed to find them? They could be spread across the entire gulf by now. Rather than blindly searching for those who've gone missing, we ought to fortify our position and assess the enemy. I believe that to be our best option given the current situation. Hold on just a second. I agree that protecting Balta Island is important, yes. But I'm sure there's some information we can only find by getting out there and searching. Our goal wouldn't be to defeat the enemy, but to quickly skirmish with them, gather intel, and then retreat. So a recon of what they can do, then. I do like that idea better. In that case, any volunteers for Felia's idea? I'll... I'll do it. Now hold on a second here! We need both of the Peerless Pair here on the island to beef up our defenses! That is true. We don't know when or how the enemy will attack. <sighs> hmm. Aye. Good point. Azure Eye Karja, at all the red. No one fits the bill better than these two. In fact, Adol's already proven his ability to bring back info, and that's something we hold in high regard. Wouldn't you say, brothers and sisters? Are you sure it's okay to send them? This is a dangerous role. I'm sending them because it's dangerous. They're both mana users, green as they may be. Grimson? Oh. Sounds like there's no objections, then. All right, Karja. Adol. As of this moment, I can script the two of you and the Sandros into the Balta Sea Force as our flying squadron. Your mission is to travel throughout Obelia Gulf and gather info on the Grieger. Engage him in skirmishes if you must, but your number one priority is bringing back intel. You can do that, right? We will do it. Right, Adol? At all. Oh? You're a real glutton for punishment, you know that, kid? Alright, fine. Just make sure you understand what comes first and foremost. You're Karja's shield brother now. You go and get your priorities mixed up. And I'll kill you myself. Right then. After this, all other members of the Balta Sea Force assemble in the port. With that, today's thing is adjourned. Thank you, brothers and sisters, for your time. Here you are, everyone. Oh man, this looks great! Miss Kaja, Adol, congratulations on completing the rite. Thanks, Ezer. Never could have imagined I'd get my first shield brother quite like this, though. Nah, save it. I ain't even mad anymore. Anyhow, let's watch each other's backs, brother. Out of curiosity, which one of you is older? You're 17, right, Adel? I'm 17 too. Why does it matter, though? Well, now that you two are siblings, I was wondering who's the big one and who's the little one. I've been in the Balta Sea Force for a while, whereas Adel's a newcomer. So that makes me the big sister and the little brother. There, glad that's settled. Don't give me that. Were you even paying attention? 
You know, we still haven't settled our score yet. Let's figure out which of us is stronger once and for all. Miss Kaja, please don't. The title of Shield Brethren is meant to denote a strong bond of unity between two people on the battlefield. Both members are equals, with neither being above the other. Oh, I think I get it. More importantly, shouldn't you be deciding your next steps now? Fine, fine. By the way, I'll be helping out aboard the Sandros. I might not be much help against the Grieger, but I'm sure I can still put these muscles to good use for you. Looking forward to working with you two. Hmm. I've seen firsthand just how strong you are. I've also received permission from the Jarl to accompany you. I have some knowledge of marine navigation, and I can help out with various chores on board. Oh? I'm surprised Grimson gave you leave. I'm sure he's just worried about his daughter's well-being, yeah? Knowing him? Not a chance. He's probably only sending Ezer along to keep me in line. I... can't comment on that. Anyway, that makes a crew of four hands for the Sandras so far. Ah! Ah! You're coming too, Hoogle? Make that four hands and one wing. Even with the extra wing, we're still pretty short of a full crew. True. We need to find more people to help out. Wait! Don't forget about me! You? Yeah, I worked my butt off convincing Gunnar. As the stand-in for Karnak's mayor, I'm coming with you to help rescue the townsfolk. Stand-in? I thought you didn't see eye-to-eye -eye with your old man. Hearing what Adol said at the thing got me thinking. Well, wondering more like about what I can do to help. You do understand that we'll only be saving people as the situation allows, right? We can't afford to go out of our way for them. I get that. But I know that as long as we're out there, there won't be chances to find them. If Adol's going, then I can't just sit here doing nothing. After all, I'm the mayor... Um, I mean, member! Member of the local militia! <laughs> well, it's better than no one. Adol, let's get some rest. We depart tomorrow morning. Everyone, get your things together, and we'll see you on the Sandras. <laughs> so the princess is finally setting off in a ship of her own, eh? Yeah, though I never saw it going quite like this. I said it before, but it bears repeating. This ship is far from being proper seaworthy. Even if you're just going out to scout, she'll only be able to take you so far. Ezer, till these young pups get a bit more sailing under their belts, don't let them do nothing crazy, got it? Understood. So, where are we headed first? Even if we can't go all across Obelia just yet, there's still a pretty wide stretch of water to cover, right? Got some info about that you might find useful. Last night, a patrol boat saw some ships heading due south. The Undying Fleet. Short for Undying Idiot Bastards Who Are Too Stupid To Stay Down Fleet, as I recall. That is what they are, to be fair. Rolls right off the tongue, huh? Anyway, Undying Fleet's how we're gonna refer to them from now on. Guessing Grimson's responsible for that one? For us Normans, there's honor to die and bravely in battle. That's because we know that after death, we'll be called to Walhalla by Har himself. So Undying is a word we've got nothing but contempt for. Makes sense. At any rate, the Undying Fleet seems to be headed to the south of Obelia Gulf. Then that's where we're headed, too. If you're going that way, be sure to watch for the tyrant. No, it's just a term we use to refer to a difficult-to-navigate area of the Gulf where ocean flow and tidewaters meet. 
You try and go through the tyrant with this old gal in the state she's in, and she'll be torn to splinters. If that's the case, then we'll have to limit our investigation to the areas outside the tyrant. Better that than nothing. Besides, our crew's not experienced enough to handle it, even with a better ship. We'll just have to start our search outside the tyrant, and try to build the Sandras up as we go. Yep, that's about the size of it. Okay, everyone. Once you're ready, board the Sandras. <laughs>